by using properties we are supposed to prove that this LHS is equal to this RHS 1 minus x cube whole power 2. Now how do we go about doing that? Let's take a look at this. We have 1 minus x whole power 3, 1 minus x power 3 actually and then there is a square also there. Now how do we go about handling this one? If you observe carefully, if you observe carefully, there is no x cube term as such. But 1 minus x cube is actually equal to 1 minus x times 1 plus x plus x square, is it not? Yes. So imagine this 1 minus x cube as this and yes, this is useful since you have 1 x and x square everywhere. Right? This is useful. So the LHS can be simplified as this is 1 x square x, this is x 1 x square, this is x square x 1. I can add rows and columns together and maybe simplify this somehow. What I'll have is, please observe, C1 can be replaced with C1 plus C2 plus C3 and this will give me 1 plus x plus x square. Okay, similarly x square plus 1 plus x is 1 plus x plus x square and 1 plus x plus x square. Then you have x1 x square, x square x1, this is what you have. Right or not? Yes. Okay, can you take out a 1 plus x plus x square common? You have 1, 1, 1 remaining over here. Yes. What else? You have x, 1 and x square remaining. You have x square, x and 1 remaining over here. Is that okay? Yes. After this, let's try to create some zeros by subtracting these ones. And what do we observe? What I can do is R1, or uh, for that matter, what you can do is, yeah, let's subtract R1. Or precisely, R2 can be written as R2 minus R1. Subtract R1 from R2 and subtract R1 from R3 as well. Okay. And where will that take us? This will give me 1 plus x plus x square will remain as it is. In the determinant, you have 1x and x square. The first row remains as it is. 1 minus 1 will become 0. This will become 1 minus x. And you will get x minus x square over here. This will remain. What else? Yeah, this will become 0. x square minus x will remain. Here you'll have 1 minus x square and yes, this is what you have. What next? If you observe carefully, there's a 1 minus x over here and if you observe this is x minus x square, you can take out x common over here and you'll get 1 minus x. So what I can do is I have a 1 minus x, I have another 1 minus x over here that can be brought out, yes. 1 plus x plus x square times 1 minus x, okay. And the determinant that I'll get is 1, 0, 0, which is okay. X, which is okay. And 1 minus X has gone out. This will be 1. X square is okay. 1 minus X has gone out. This will be a X. Simply X, right? The third row, can you observe the third row? A similar thing happens over here. This has 1 plus X and 1 minus X. Yes. This has X times X minus 1. Now, X minus 1 and 1 minus X only different in a minus, right? So I can take out 1 minus x and 1 minus x common from here as well. And what will remain is, this is minus of 1 minus x, right? So minus of x actually remains over here. And here you'll get 1 minus x has gone, 1 plus x will remain over here. Okay. Now we can expand easily along this column. We get 1 times 1 plus x minus of minus will become plus x square. So 1 plus x plus x square is what we'll get. This is 1 plus x plus x square, okay. This is 1 minus x whole square and the other term will be 1 plus x plus x square. Okay, so we are actually getting the same version of this. 1 plus x plus x square whole square and 1 minus x whole square can be simplified using this. And this will be nothing but 1 minus x cube whole square. That's the RHS as you can clearly observe over here. That's all for this question.